Hello everybody, I'm Sarah and I'm a recorder player. Hello again Team Recorder, I am back. This is actually the first video I make since I had a baby. Actually, the past nine videos on this channel were all pre-recorded because I wanted to give myself a couple of months off for maternity leave and I'm back. And thank you to everybody who sent me nice messages after the birth of our daughter. It's really appreciated, so thank you. But anyway, I'm going to get into it. Today we are going to watch a performance by an ensemble I play with, the Royal Wind Music. And I'm going to tell you a bit about the music we play so that you know what to listen for. The Royal Wind is a really special ensemble and it's actually unique. It's a large recorder ensemble that specialises in Renaissance music and we play on a special set of around 45 instruments that were built specifically for the group. existed for around 20 years and I've been playing with them for two and a half years now. We've played in a few different iterations over the years but this one you're going to hear today is a double quintet plus a sub contra bass. So if we play for example five part music every voice is doubled in octaves with a soprano and a tenor, an alto and a bass, a tenor and a great bass and so on. And then the 11th member plays the giant three meter tall sub contra bass recorder to add a kind of renaissance subwoofer into the mix and the result in my opinion is really beautiful. Today I'm going to show you some performances from our concert at the Order Festival in Amsterdam. This was a really special concert as we joined forces with the Belgian choir Salentis and we did a whole program with recorder consort and choir and this mixed really nicely. This was a concert of our programme called Nostre Maestre et Bon Père. Apologies for my pronunciation. In this programme we take the works of certain composers and look at their music and their students and their students and their students so you can eventually follow the kind of progression of composition through the relationship between these teachers and students. And this whole programme was researched, arranged and put together by Petri Arfo, who's one of the recorder players in the group, here he is, uh, playing alongside me at a concert. So I had a chat with Petri about his process of putting all this music together and he was kind enough to supply me with all of the answers. Now what would the original piece have been for? It was from the very second book of motets. It's got a text so it was vocal but we don't actually know for sure if it was performed by singers alone or singers plus instruments or even instruments alone. The parts in this are very florid and complex and this means they'd be nicely suited to instruments. And from around this time, from the start of the 17th century, we're seeing something called a sacred concerto. And this is a piece for four to six voices with vocalists and instrumentalists together. So that kind of piece existed then. We think our version with instruments and singers is totally justified. Now when we arrange pieces for the Royal Wind, sometimes we're taking keyboard pieces, vocal pieces, operas, it can be for anything and it can be quite a challenge to get them to fit the range of the recorder. This piece actually fit very easily for recorders because the range of the human voice is very similar to the range of the recorder. The question is tessiatura. This fancy word basically means where do you want those notes to fit within the range of an instrument? A melody is going to sound very different if you're playing it in the lowest notes or the highest notes of the instrument. Another challenge was how to incorporate the singers. We could choose just to play everything with singers and recorders together, but that could get a bit muddy. So in the final arrangement, the singers are coming in at seemingly random points, and this kind of sharpens the texture all out a bit. So, I hope you can appreciate, when we play a piece of music, it's not like we just buy the score and it's ready to play. You have to find the music and pick which recorders are going to play. Do you play it high? Do you play it low? Do you transpose it? How are you going to tackle all of these different things? Gaudete in Domine by De Verde.
was Gaudete in Dominate by De Verit. I thought I'd show you just a couple of fragments of other pieces uh, so you, that you can hear what else we have in our programme. What you just heard was originally a vocal piece and we're now going to listen to a piece originally for organ. It sounds pretty different. This piece is by the composer Froberger and it's called Fantasia upon Ut Re Mi Fa Sol La. This uh, refers to a hexachord, that's an earlier harmonic system that basically uses a scale of six notes. One, two, three, four, five, six, and that's what this whole piece is based on. This next snippet is much more calm and solemn. It's from a mass called Misa Mon Coeur by Eckhard. We chose to simply double the recorders with the singers and I think this is one of the most beautiful pieces And this last little snippet is actually the finale and the encore of our concert. It's also the earliest piece in the programme from the late medieval times by Adrian Villat and it's called Vecchi la Troza, which actually, uh, I looked at the text and it means like nasty old woman, nasty old woman. And in this piece we play around a lot with articulation and Petri wrote some really great ornaments and all these kind of exciting rhythms to make it like da -da 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 -da. And in this section we also use our tiny little sopranino in G and because all of our instruments are at high renaissance pitch the sopranino's lowest note is actually a concert A flat. It's so high! <laughs> you enjoyed listening to these short um, snippets from the Royal Wind music. Hopefully you'd like to hear more and especially for you team recorder viewers we have a deal for you. For the next two weeks our latest CD Cosmography of Polyphony is going to be available at 10% discount in our web shop and this is a really beautiful program I can really recommend it so I would go over to our web shop link in the description and order the CD for yourself today. I also want to give a shout out to Maria and Hester from the Royal Wind Music. They also have a YouTube channel about the recorder. It's called the Consort Counselors and they are basically there to teach you everything you need to know about ensemble playing. So if you think one day I want to play with the Royal Wind Music, that is a great place to start. So 
that is the end of my video. Down below I'm going to put links to all of this stuff, to the Royal Wind. You should check out our concert agenda and our other videos on YouTube. As always you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on my face down here in the corner. Over here is a link to the Team Recorded Patreon where you can choose to support the channel with a small monthly donation. Thank you to all my patrons. And up here I'm going to put a link to the video, the world's biggest recorder, which yes, belongs to the Royal Wind. Thanks everybody for watching and have a great day.